Alberta is still a great place uh, for people to move to. The Alberta advantage is mm. still alive. Overall, we're in the range. Nothing is really crazy. No. Right. Hey friends, it's uh, Shane Parent here with the Remax River Cities Platinum team and I'm joined with Chris Trano and Allison McDougall and we're here to give you an update on what's gone on for December, December. 2022 and the year off, right? So mm -hmm. uh, we'll be following up here in the next uh, few weeks with a year in review and some insights and, uh, and predictions for 2023. But just want to give you a, a quick and dirty what happened in uh, December 22 where we th see things trending here. And uh, and yeah, seasonally, we were a little bit slower. There's a lot of discussion on interest rates mm -hmm. and how that's affecting. Mm -hmm. uh, but overall, Alberta is still a great place uh, for people to move to. The Alberta advantage is mm -hmm. still alive and I hope to feed more into that with our annual uh, update. Right. Uh, looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, want to share some more localized what's been going on, uh, how things are going, and uh, and obviously our, our high lows that we love to share with the group. So, yeah. uh, Allison, you want to start us off on what's been going on with the single family homes here in Edmonton? So, single family in December. It's interesting, actually. Okay. We had, you know, the typical kind of slowdown, and this was talking to quite a few agents. We'll see mm -hmm. what this, the data actually says, but there was like this slowdown of it's Christmas, there's parties, people are, you know, into the seasonal thing. And then there was this couple weeks of busy. Mm -hmm. Like there was a lot of Tag people trying in. to get things over the finish line, I think, whether yeah. it was like rate holds, you know, cause there was another rate hike. There was, a, there was a bump and it was busier than one would anticipate for a couple yep. weeks in December. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, so that was interesting and kind of reassuring to see Still activity. Yes, yeah. and what is likely to come for 2023. Great. Mm -hmm. um, overall, what we're seeing, you know, average price single family is 460. Um, you know, year over year, that's a little bit down, but month over month, about the same. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. days on market, we are a bit higher than we were this time last year. Um, about, you know, 10 days higher for days on market at 55. Okay. Um, again, are we seeing that really in the market? It's about the same as what we were seeing last year. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, last year and obviously in 2021 are record years for a lot of mm -hmm. yes. a lot of our uh, trackable items. Yes. Mm -hmm. Days on market, sale price, amount of unit mm -hmm. sales. So mm -hmm. we talk about activity. Yeah. And so for it to be down and adjusted, not Very really. Typical. Yeah. Not really stressful, right? Yeah. Um, it's not the doom and gloom. When we compare, I guess maybe to 2018 or 2019. Correct. Yeah. We're on par doing better than that, right? Yeah, like so. our last five years has not, like, overall, we're in the range. Nothing is really crazy no. right? and out to lunch. So, cool. you know, inventory's down a little bit. Um, okay. And again, what are we going to see in 2023? We can pontificate about that because I've got some ideas in terms of with interest cool. rates. I think some people are going to be getting rid of toys. Um, you know, are you going to get rid of your house first or, you know, the new car, the boat, the quad, some of those mm -hmm. extra items? So I'm not sure how that's going to translate into our real estate market, but for yeah. December, things were pretty steady. Cool. A little awesome. bit high-low? Yes. <laughs> high-low. So this big, beautiful one that sold in um, Garneau, or sorry, mm -hmm. not Garneau, Glenora. Um, so this was built in 2018, 3,500, almost 3,600 square feet. Yeah. Took a look at it. Yeah. Really beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, modern. Gorgeous. Clean. Lovely, yeah, and it sold for 2.375. Um, and again, that was in Glenora, so very one of the you know most expensive neighborhoods in the city. Yeah, love it. Um, for low, it was in Parkdale. Um, that's not unusual, little 968 square foot, you know, one and a half story, livable, needed some updates, of course, mm -hmm. but that sold for 107. 107, yeah, cool, nice. So condos, what's been going on condos? Well, condos, apartment style condos, again, we're going to be talking about apartment style condos, not the townhouses. So these are the single level ones. We've actually dipped down quite a bit from last month, just 7% lower okay. than okay. last month. Month over but, month. Okay. Yeah. But last year, just a slight difference from last year with just 2, minus, like under, like 2%, sorry. 2% difference. Yeah. 
year over year. Correct. So month over month, there probably just wasn't a lot of transactions, yeah. Yeah. and then the ones that did sell were lower Lord price ones. Correct. Good. Yeah. yeah. And then with the days on market, we are again in December, they stayed on the market for a little bit longer than they did last year. So, and that we're talking about longer in terms of like 71 days. Okay. So if you were looking to sell and you had an apartment condo, you, for the ones that are selling, you could expect to be on the market for just over a couple months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. So, yeah. So, um, with that said, the average price of condos last in December was 197,000. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And uh, we'll feature a couple of sales. Yes. So uh, I'd like to start with the high. I think so too. Which is crazy because <laughs> the highest condo sold last in December was priced at eight forty three, eight hundred and forty three thousand. So still in Edmonton, hard to find condos over a million, right? So you know. Yeah, Great place to uh, relocate if you're coming uh, from Vancouver or Toronto. Okay. Let's say. Oh, wink, and this, wink, nudge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, this condo was actually two levels. So it was a penthouse in the Excelsior. Mm. Oh, cool. um, it, oh, it was on Neat the building. market for over 100 days. Okay. So, but um, yeah, two bedrooms, two bathroom, downtown. Yeah, I like that building. We looked at it. It's that. gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. They're very, very different, different, the units in yeah. there. So. On the other end, the low end. Um, First time or investment, maybe type uh, type stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a, an investment for forty four thousand dollars is a pretty yeah. good investment when you can get rental income from that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. This was a one bedroom, one bathroom. Okay. Um, six under six hundred and fifty square feet, roughly. What kinds of room? What's that? Whereabouts? Where this was in Westmount, in the oh. west end of Edmonton. So okay. nice location. You're around everything, convenience, yeah. schools. Yeah, um, 44 in Westmount. Yeah. Cool. Love yeah. that. Yeah. Hopefully you got some good information out of us today. Uh, real estate is neighborhood specific. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know maybe what your home's worth, or you think about getting into the market to buy your first home or an investment property, we'd love to have a chat. We Don't hesitate to reach out. And go ahead and subscribe and ding the bells and all that fun stuff too. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye. Happy New Year.